so now I am going to explain digital logic uh, design flow this is actually a general digital logic design flow so any digital logic design we starts with the problem statement uh, it can be anything for maybe the problem statement to design an a basic and gate uh, so that is actually the problem uh, so for this problem from where we are getting this problem statement getting from the customer so that is actually the customer requirement the customer maybe gives you want and to input NAND gate so that is actually the customer requirement that requirement become the problem statement so with the help of that problem statement we need to make a truth table if they're given the two input and get means so we should know that uh, that is it it having two inputs and only one output so according to that we need to make a truth table i, I mean to say say different uh, logic uh, using zeros and ones so then after once we are getting the truth table we need to write an boolean equation so again the, we can possibly write the boolean equation in the, in two forms one is SOP form that is called as an sum of the product and another one is POS form is called as an product of the sum and once we get the boolean equation we, we, we may get a bigger equation and some of the terms are repetitive so if we are using same equation directly obviously the uh, the uh, silicon area also required more even it consumes more power isn't it so if i want the same term is keep on repeating means the is uh, the circuitry will require more and the number of transistor increases due to that uh, the transistor density also increases and uh, and one more way is it, it requires more silicon area and obviously uh, the cost also be increases in order to overcome that we need to uh, synthesize that boolean equation so in order to synthesize that boolean equation we have four technique our first one is the uh, k map karnang map method another one is the quinn mccleskey technique boolean algebra and vem technique vem is variable entered map technique so of, with the help of any one technique after reducing the boolean equation uh, so this uh, techniques are helps to reduce the uh, the big boolean equation and finally it will give the synthesized form so due to that we can achieve area power and timing so then once we get the uh, synthesized equation then we need to go for the digital circuit design again there are two kinds of digital circuit design one is combinational circuit another one is the sequential circuit so then what is the difference between the combinational and sequential circuits the combination circuit means it doesn't have in memory and sequential circuit means it is having in memory the combination circuit output is completely depends on the input and in the case of sequential circuit output depends on the present input and the previous output and the combination circuit the response are the more faster and sequential circuits are response more slower but combination circuitry size was very big in case of sequential circuit size was very less and the speed wise also combination circuit more fast sequential circuit less and if i take some combination circuit examples are like uh, all logic gates dmux mux encoder and decoder similarly example for the sequential circuit flip flop counter register uh, pipeline and adder and subtractor and one more uh, uh, difference between the combination sequential circuit means the combination circuit is open loop system and sequential circuit is closed loop so this is the simple introduction about the digital logic design flow